Hello there, this is Tom Meeks of the Cuba 5 Fans blog and also of the Moment of Inspiration users blog. We're continuing our introductory tutorials for Moment of Inspiration, a program I really, really like. Let's begin as we usually do in our introductory tutorials by creating a, a circle. I'm going to go to the right side here and I'm going to make a circle simple circle. Now I'm going to go to a front view and you'll see that my circle is right there in the center and I'll move it up and I'm going to make a simple line. A line here to here. Now we're going to use the sweep command. Click on my circle, go to construct, sweep, and now it says select a rail. Okay, I'll do that. Done. Well, that looks like a simple extrude. If you look around, I've created a cylinder and um, nothing out of the ordinary of that. But let's go back to our front view and I'll show you something interesting about sweep. If I go to pointy end, now notice I've begun with my object that I'm sweeping in the center. That's important in this particular case where I want to show you both ends. If I go to a pointy end, you'll notice that this end goes to a point. If I go to pointy start, it obviously started over here and swept that way. It shows me that uh, I've got a pointy start, but I can also say both pointy. So I can modify the way this sweep is done by scaling it in uh, certain ways. So I'm going to say cancel, and I'm going to show you another way we can scale. I'm going to take this arc, a three-point arc, and I'm going to start it there and there, and I'll come up to here. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with the uh, round circle. I'm going to go to sweep, uh, select the rails, done. But now I'm going to pick a scaling rail, done. And it's calculating. Now, when it's finished calculating, you'll notice that it went along. It scaled that along this scaling rail. Now, I can actually do that. Let's go here. We're going to go to sweep. Now, I'm going to select two rails and say done. And it's a little different behavior. It used both rails. It scaled with both rails. But it's a little different behavior than if I had first um, used sweep and then added the scaling rail. This is kind of interesting. Another thing that you can do, let's cancel this. And I'm going to get rid of this line and this line, and we'll go back to our right view. We don't have to keep a circle a circle. If we turn on show points, I can now alter that circle. So if I delete this point and delete that point, you notice that the shape changes. Now I'm going to add a corner point, a corner point there, pull that out. And I'm going to add another corner point. Notice I have make corner point up there. Another corner point there. We'll, we'll make this like this. And now I'm going to get rid of some points. And you'll see that what I'm trying to do here is uh, create an airfoil by getting rid of most of the points. Now I'm going to move this object back here and I'm going to move this and this and this and I'll, I'll, I'll come up like that. All right, so we have a rough airfoil right here, okay, as if we were going to create a wing, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. So now we have this shape. And I'm going to uh, say that's okay. That's a little rough right there, but we're not going to worry about that. Let's go to our, our top view. I'm going to zoom way out here because what I'm now going to do is draw lines in the shape of a wing right here and right there. So I'm going to say select my airfoil shape, go to sweep and select those two lines and say done. Now, what I've created here is uh, a shape. And you'll notice that there's some artifacting up there. Let me show you why that happened. 
we'll fix that. Let's get back here and let's zoom in on this, uh, these lines here. And I'm going to add uh, edit show points. Show points for there and there and done. Now, if I look at the front view, you'll notice that I have one up. We need to make those ends meet. So now I've got those ends meeting, and we're going to get a different result. Uh, that's that's not a moment of inspiration. That's Tom Meeks there. So now let's go back to our top view, get everything in line here. We'll select this. We'll go, we'll go to Construct Sweep, select our lines, and I hope now we've got it. There we go, much cleaner, much nicer. So anyway, we've created this, and now we've got this airfoil. If I go to the 3D view and I get everything in here and start looking around, you'll notice that we've created an airfoil that is in the shape of uh, this original shape. So I'm going to say cancel because I want to make some changes to this. Let's go to our front view again. By the way, I'm going to pull that down here. And now I'm going to move this up to here and this line up here. Now these lines now angle with a dihedral, but I'm going to add some non-corner points right along this road, and I'm going to pull down, and I'll add another one to this line, and I'm going to pull that down. So now we have a sweeping line, and we'll see how our, our sweep works with that. So let's go to our 3D shape. I'm going to select our, our airfoil shape. I'm going to go to Construct, Sweep, select our rails, and see what happens. Ah, there we go. Now we have the sweeping, uh, a sweeping shape that we've made. And I'm going to say done. Then I'm going to go to the top view and I'm going to say, okay, let's select that. And we're going to go to transform mirror. And there we have it. We have an airfoil, an air, you know, a wing that we could use in a model airplane or whatever. And, uh, it didn't take us much time to do that. I want to show you one other thing about Sweep that's really kind of cool. So I'm going to zoom way out, select everything, get rid of everything, uh, go to the front view, make a circle, and uh, now I'm going to go to this shape, this helix shape. Now the helix is a 2D curve that we use for a rail. And so I'm going to get right in here, and I'm going to start my helix here, and then I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to pull up my line to show how long to make that helix. Let me move this down. Sorry about that. And now I need to go to the top view to finish out my circle. So I'm going to make that circle there, and I'm going to say done. So now if I look from my front view, you can see that I've created a helix. Now I'm going to drag this circle out so it's roughly centered on the starting point of that helix. And I'm going to say, okay, give me the uh, that, give me construct, sweep, and we'll sweep it around this helix. Now that's pretty cool. That's We can make springs, for instance, for a car or whatever with that command. As you can see, however we make our helix, that's the way it's going to go. Now we go back to... The idea, though, that we can make uh, the end sharp, let's see, or the, there we go, the start sharp in this particular case. It's kind of interesting how that worked, that uh, even though I put this down here, it started up here. So it's a pointy start and made that start, uh, made that pointy. I'm going to get rid of my helix. I'll say done, just so you can see this um, and the way it worked. And we'll bring it in line here, and we'll swing it around so you can see how that helix worked. Pretty cool. Anyway, it's a very powerful command. Sweep can do a lot of different things, and I hope this was very helpful for you.